the Giants hired three new coaches today. Three. That is huge. The first one was assistant offensive line coach Tony Sperano Jr., That is the son of the late, great Tony Sperano, who passed away three and a half years ago, former head coach of the Miami Dolphins. He will be the assistant to Bobby Johnson, who is our offensive line coach. Tony Sperano Jr., Hank, he's a guy who I think could, you know, have a nice role with this coaching staff. Um, He was previously with the Carolina Panthers, and he coached under Brian Dable, in 2011, when Dable was the offensive coordinator for the Dolphins that one season he was there, Sperano Jr. was there as the offensive quality control coach. Fun fact. Wow. Any thoughts you have on Sperano Jr.? Yeah, I think decent hire and having him under Bobby Johnson. I like that offensive lineman core, that that crew of offensive lineman coach. Definitely a win. Billy Anderson, Judge didn't get a fair shake. There's no arguing that at all. Yeah. I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. Billy, I wish he was still the head coach of this football team, but at the end of the day, he's not. And unfortunately, it is time to move on. And Brian Dable deserves just as fair of a shake as Joe Judge got. And whether we think Joe Judge's shake was fair or not, uh, he's no longer the coach of the Giants. So... Another assistant that got hired today, Mike Grow, the new wide receivers coach. Now, this is an interesting hire because I like it a lot. Now, a lot of people thought it would be Adam Henry, who, if you remember, was the wide receivers coach under Ben, who shall not be fully named, when he was our head coach uh, back in 2016 and 2017 when Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham, Roger Lewis, those guys, I think Victor Cruz was still on the roster in 16. Those were still the faces of the Giants receiving core. They did not go with Henry. Instead, they went with Mike Groh. Uh, Last year and the year before, he was the wide receivers coach for the Indianapolis Colts. Mm -hmm. And, Hank, notice how Joe Shane and Brian Dable are hiring coaches from outside the organization. They're going after assistants who were on playoff teams. Getting Sperano Jr. from the Panthers. All right, well, that that was a bad example to start off with. But Mike Kafka, Kansas City Chiefs. Wink Martindale, Baltimore Ravens, consistent playoff team outside of this year. Uh, You know, there's been a lot of good assistants that have been hired. Shea Tierney. I mean, Buffalo, Kansas City, Baltimore. Um, Mike Rowe was also the former offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh... And he's been a coach in this league since since 2013, so he has experience. Listing his full experience, he started as the wide receivers coach for the Chicago Bears from 13 to 15, then moved over to the Rams to be their passing game coordinator and wide receivers coach in 2016. In 2017, he was the wide receivers coach for the Eagles. Then he was the OC from 2018 to 2019, and then went to the Colts to be their wide receivers coach the last two seasons. What are your thoughts on this hire? I think this is another good hire. This is someone who had a good hand in how the Eagles offense did for a couple years in the late 2010s. And going over to the Colts, you have him joining the staff of Frank Reich. And this is a team that like have fundamentally had a decent offense. I think, and like you said, I like the idea that the Giants are going after so many guys from playoff teams, the Colts, I wouldn't, I know the Colts just missed it, but I would probably throw the Colts into that category just for the sheer fact that for the most part, up until their collapse, they were in that discussion. And again, I think the real reason I like that they're going and going out outside the organization through like so many different teams is because you're getting a whole mix of new ideas. And again, it represents a lot of change to an organization that, Quite frankly, you know, as much as we love the Giants, they have been pretty stale for the past few years. And that's and that I think has pretty much been a big reason that got us into into this mess. I agree full heartedly with that, Hank. And I'll be honest with you, it sucks. It mm-hmm. sucks to it sucks to be a Giants fan right now because we know I this team Steve, is Steve said it best. I like the way we are putting together this staff. We needed new blood in the building. Yes. 
Um, speaking of new blood, we're not done yet with new assistant coaches. No. This hire we made today is my favorite hire, and Hank knows exactly <laughs> why it's my favorite yes. hire. Yes, I do. Adam Patterson named our new defensive line coach coming over from the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> and who's on the defensive line for the Minnesota Vikings? Dalvin, Dalvin Tomlinson. Adam Patterson has a rich NFL resume. He comes over from the Minnesota Vikings. He has been there since 2014 as their defensive line coach. He helped develop Everson Griffin. He coached Brian Robeson in the tail end of his career. He helped develop guys like De Daniel Hunter. Not to mention they've had DJ Wanum develop nicely over the past three years. Afadio Denibo emerged into a decent pass rusher for them who was briefly on our team in the offseason. Now you're looking at who Minnesota has on that defensive line. Again, they're one of the best defensive lines in all of football. He was not only the defensive line coach, Adam Patterson was also the co-defensive coordinator and the assistant head coach. How many teams do you know, Hank, have their defensive line coach as the assistant head coach of the football team? That's very rare. Very rare. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the best coaching hire the Giants have made so far, in my opinion. Um, I am a little biased, but... Yeah, I was going to say, I hey, differ about that. Let me finish my point. Go for it. Go for it. Made me lose my train. Okay. Coach Chaos left, right? All right. Mm -hmm. With the 3-4, the defensive line was fine. But, you know, this year, Coach Chaos wasn't given much to work with because we lost Dalvin Tomlinson. Um, we traded away B.J. Hill. So you're left with Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, and Austin Johnson. Again, not an ideal uh, group after that depth-wise. It was Danny Shelton and undrafted rookie free agent Raymond Johnson. Not good, right? So now I think you bring in Adam Patterson and you draft, let's say, a Jordan Davis or uh, Travis Jones out of UConn on day two. You could he he will easily develop that player into a solid defensive lineman in the in the NFL, and the Giants' run defense will be back with what it was. And another reason why I like Patterson so much. The Vikings were top five in sacks three out of their last four years. And these weren't covered sacks because if you folks know, the Vikings have one of the worst pass defenses in all of football. So how are these pass rushers getting there? They're beating their matchups. They're beating their assignments. Adam Patterson was doing a good job as the defensive line head coach. The reason why he was on the market is because Mike Zimmer was fired. And again, the, the Vikings have not even officially named O'Connell as their head coach. So he was available to go elsewhere. So the Giants snatched him out of Minnesota's back pocket. Job well done, Big Blue. Hank? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I don't know if I'd call it my favorite hire of the offseason like you are. I mean, I certainly know why you love this hire, but I do agree. The fact that he was an assistant coach for a while and he wasn't even like the one of the main defensive coordinators that speaks volumes to how un, much of a steal this hire was so yes i think this is definitely a dub honestly i think you could really make the case you could definitely make a case for adam patterson to be one of the best hires but you, you really look at the coaching staff i like hiring kafka because potentially you could have a young rising star as far as offensive geniuses go, I mean, he coached under one of the best for quite some time and not, and now he's finally getting his chance that he probably would have had anyways, had they had Eric bien gone on to become a head coach. And you're also getting a defensive coordinator who, as we mentioned, is, is has a reputation for being one of the most aggressive play like schemers in the league. There's no, there's really not one coach that I can think of that's the best hire. There are multiple great hires. And when there are a lot of great hires, I think that gives me something that I haven't had in a long time with this team. You know what that is, Tom? What's that? 
hope. That's a very, very broad word, but I love it. And look at Adam Patterson right there. Look at him training up Everson Griffin. This man is intense. Um, I'm just saying that is some sick photo of Anderson right there coaching up Everson Griffin. You see the Everlast boxing glove on his left paw right Love there. That. So 